Do you want to write a grocery list for yourself? And not only that, do you want the AI to add this to the Amazon grocery list? It can do for you. Claude now has the MCP. And not only this, it can actually create the HTML script for you. It can go to the GitHub, create new repository. It can create a new pull request on the fresh new repository with the HTML content it has created. And boom, everything is just automated with the help of, once again, the new Claude MCP. Now, what if I can say AI can now connect with your data source? That means no more ruggish rag, no more costly pre-training of the AI models. It's all just the connection of AI with your data source. Now introducing you Claude MCP, which basically means the model context protocol. Think about it as the HTTP protocol, but for the AI and the data source. So in HTTP protocol, we are communicating with the websites, the internet. But now with this protocol, we can communicate between the AI and the data source. Now, what happened previously? Why we are having this thing? So the problem we are facing with the AI is the context. Basically, AI models are trained with massive data, but all that data are older. They have limited context and they don't know anything which is currently happening right now. Basically, this protocol is open standard. That means anyone in the world can use it. It's not just scoped with the Claude. That also means that Claude or the Entropic, the company behind the Claude, is really pushing the AI for the people. It's not just trying to make money. Obviously, in this journey, they will going to make, but it's really, really nice to see all these innovations are helping the AI and the AI communities. But what exactly this model context protocol is? So let's see this. This model context protocol is an open standard that enables developers to build secure two-way connection between their data and the AI power tool. So suppose you have an AI power tool and that need to look into your GitHub repository, want to check for the pull request, validate the pull request, comment on that, or even can merge it. So what's the data source here? It's just the GitHub website. And what is the AI tool? The tool you are using. It could be the Claude desktop application. It could be a simple AI tool, which is a third party build, and it could be an IDE. So all these things can use this model context protocol to communicate between the data source, which in this case is GitHub repository, to the AI power tool, which can be anything. So this way, AI will know that something is happening on the website and now it can perform actions on your behalf from your prompt and it can do magically anything you want. So the architecture is straightforward. Developer can either expose their data through MCP servers. Now think about servers as the AI source, AI power tool. Or build AI application MCP clients that connect to the server. Great. So this is actually opening the gates for the developers who are thinking that AI is taking their job. No, there are a lot more new things coming up for the developers which they need to embrace so that AI should never ever going to take your job. Now the question comes, how as a developer, you can embrace this MCP, the model context protocol from the cloud. Basically, Claude released three major things for model context protocol for developers. So let's see one by one. First is model context protocol specification and SDKs. Right now, they are support for Python SDK and TypeScript SDK, which is really great. And then second one is the local MCP server support in the Claude desktop app. Now, the servers can be for various things. Uh, things like file system server, GitHub, GitLab server, Git server, Google Drive server, Slack server, and many more. You can use these servers to have the data source as these servers and then create something amazing with this AI MCPs. And finally, they have some examples on this open source repository, which I have opened here. And you can click on these examples for different, different servers, see how they have implemented, get inspiration from there and create something crazy. So without wasting time, just get started with building something crazy, install your Claude desktop app, have a quick guide where the documentation will guide you how to use this MCP and contribute to the open source repository, which having a lot of amazing servers for you. 
So what do you think? Is this MCP is really going to change the way we are using the AI and feeding the real amazing data sources which we really want without doing lots of crazy stuff like RAG and pre-training? If your comment is really nice, I am going to give one person a free giveaway of Udemy course and for that you need to write the real comment what do you think about this MCP and the best comment will win the Udemy course and that will be announced in the next video. So wait for the next video for the announcement of the winner and please share this video with the person who don't know about this MCP and make AI better for everyone. See you in the next video till then keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to Bitfin's YouTube channel. Till then goodbye.